Welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. This is episode number five of my Update 6 playthrough. And on this episode, it's time to do a little bit of upgrading on our base. We're going to be upgrading to Mark III conveyors, Mark II miners to double our production that we're currently working with. As well as we are going to get the production lines needed to get the next phase of the space elevator completed. So sit back, relax, and let's jump into it. All right, we got a lot of work ahead of us on this one here. Uh, the big thing is we're going to basically take all of our Mark I miners that we've got out there. We're going to upgrade them to Mark II miners. We're going to double our ore production. And we're going to upgrade all of our conveyors to Mark III conveyors. And uh, we're going to have to double up all of these plants. No, oh, I'm falling to my doom. Thank goodness you don't. If you've got a full health bar you actually survive that. If you are half a little sliver on your health bar away, uh, it's instant death. So now I gotta like run for my life here because I'm sure there's some mobs down here. I do at some point need to get up there and get that pod that I haven't returned. But anyhow, further to what we're doing is we need to double everything. And I think where I'm probably going to start is with our power plant. So basically, I'm going to double our coal production over here so that I can double up on our power plants that we've got. Maybe redesign and reorganize so that everything fits over here so that we'll end up with 16 power plants. That'll give us 1.2 gigawatts of power to work with. And that's where we're going to start by our, doing our mark two slash mark three upgrades so let me start by uh tearing this all down and getting things all built up here after some painstaking maneuvering we now have 16 coal generators up and running for us all powered from two normal nodes running on mark two minor or uh, mark two miners over there using mark three conveyors coming through perfectly load balanced to each of our coal generators. And then there's a total of six water extractors there that are providing all of the water for the, basically how these coal generators work is there a steam uh, turbine in there. They use coal to generate heat, which boils the water, which turns the turbine, which generates the electricity. So that's getting our 1.2 gigawatts of power that we have now. So now it's time to go and expand our other floors of our factory and uh, continue our base doubling. All right, so this is the next bit that we are gonna be upgrading. This is our iron plate construction line. This iron plate construction line is being fed by a Mark I miner right now. That's the Mark I miner right there. We're gonna upgrade that up to a Mark II. Upgrade all the conveyor systems to Mark III. That will load in and split off into being able to get make our ingots. And then from there into our plate construction. So let's get this floor upgraded. All right, we have finished the upgrade on this floor. Everything's all done now. We've got 240 items per minute of iron ore coming in. That's all getting divided into eight smelters. Those eight smelters then all feed together to make our iron ingots. Iron ingots are then distributed to eight more constructors. That's making all of our iron plate. That all comes together. And then we have a little bit of iron plate here for storage, as well as we have iron plate getting distributed into some assemblers. These are making our reinforced iron plate over here. Uh, so we're making about 15 items per minute in reinforced iron plate. And then if we continue on down the line, we have a little bit of that getting put into storage. And then we will continue with the iron plate into this assembly line over here. This is making our modular frames. So um, these two lines aren't running yet because I need to upgrade our screw manufacturing, which is on the third floor. And I need to upgrade our iron rod manufacturing, which is on the second floor. Uh, for these two lines to be done and then I'll bring down an elevator and be able to plop the screws into right here 
and we will plop the iron rods into right here and then these lines will be all up and running making our reinforced iron plate and our modular frames so now it's time to get started on the second floor which is our iron rod manufacturing we're going to get that all upgraded and uh, i've already gone and upgraded its node. So it is a Mark II miner there. I've also upgraded the conveyors. It's Mark III conveyors up to the second floor. So it's time to work on upgrading the second floor. All right, the upgrade of our iron rod line has completed. We've got 120 items per minute coming up from this conveyor, fed into these eight smelters here then are all converted into iron bars and then these iron bars are fed down into this chain of what is it i think it's 16 in total constructors that are making all of our iron rods which is making 240 items per minute iron rods and then of course we gather them back up we've got an overflow chest here to store any of the iron rods that we've made. We can grab whenever we need them. And then there's a feed that's going down to one of the construction lines down below. And then there is a feed getting split off here that will make our rotors. And then the rotors we will combine over here, go into storage as well as feed into this, making our smart plating and then our smart plating goes into storage over there. And then that other iron rod line ends up coming down here, punching through the floor, coming over to this setup that is making our modular frames. So now it's time to go up one more level above our iron rods and that's gonna be upgrading our screw manufacturing line because we need screws on this level, we need screws on this level and wherever else we're gonna end up needing them. So let's go get a Mark three or 240 or per minute iron screw line all set up. So the screw doubling has completed now. We have finished the upgrade there. We have 240 items per minute coming up, going into these eight smelters here. These eight smelters are cranking into 240 items per minute of iron ingots. We're then loading into 16 constructors that are making our iron rods for us. We've got eight on each side making our iron rods. We then run down here and this all switches into more constructors. I want to say there's 24 constructors here, 12 on each side all load balanced making our screws so all of the screws um are have we doubled that all up and um we are making a crap ton of screws right now i want to say we're making like 960 screws per minute uh that's a pretty good start for where we need to be right now so um now we need to continue our doubling with the we got to get our concrete done. I've got to get the copper done and then we got to get the steel done. So let's go check out the concrete double. All right, the concrete upgrade has been completed. We've got our Mark II miner. The difference on this one is, is we have overclocked it slightly so that we're making just over 270 items per minute because the Mark II conveyors are capable of doing 270 items and that ends up making it an even six constructors to make our concrete because it does require 45 per minute and that works out to 270 items per minute so we're making um it's, it's using up all of the limestone and that's making like 90 per minute of our concrete now and of course now that we've got the double stack storage we've got lots of storage happening here and then of course we're using it up to make our encased in, uh, encased industrial steel beams so that is the concrete line all upgraded now we're going to go check out the coal or the uh, copper all right the first line of copper production has been completed we got the mark ii conveyor 240 items per minute coming up into these eight smelters we got the eight smelters here all pushing out our 
ingots. I was going to um, try to use our new pure copper recipe, but I haven't unlocked refineries yet because I've actually even brought over a water line thinking, oh, I'm going to get that done and be able to get that all set up. No, I'm not able to get that set up because you need a refinery to be able to combine the water with the copper ore to uh, increase your copper production. So I can't use that alternate recipe that we got on our first hard drive yet, but that's coming soon. Next, we have our ingots that are all coming out of here. And then uh, just for space reasons, we have our copper ingots all getting divided up between these 16 constructors. We got eight per side. Eight of them are making copper wire and getting moved into storage. Then the other eight are also making copper wire, but then that moves into the production of our copper cabling. So and there's four constructors making our copper cabling. Of course, all of this, again, is load balanced and uh, seems to be working quite well. Of course, everything's all full right now because we've been spending so much time building that I have a pretty good stockpile of everything. We got lots of copper cabling. We got lots of copper wire. Uh, let me see. The copper wire storage is, I believe it's just tucked in over here. And of course, we've got lots of copper wire sitting there. So we are cruising right along. Now we've got our copper piping. We're going to go check out. All right. The copper piping or slash sheeting, the copper sheets is what we're making up on this floor. We've got um, the Mark II Miner upgraded over here on this copper node that's bringing 240 items per minute down through here into eight smelters, making our copper ingots. And then that all moves into, what do we got, 12 constructors or no, no, let's see, let me just double check that. One, two, three, four, five, yes, it is 12 constructors making our copper sheet, of which it's not making it right now. And why is it not making anything? Why do I have no copper flowing through here? Something is a miss. Oh, you know what? I never hooked up the power to my smelters over here. So let's get that done uh, so that we can actually get something producing over here. So we've got this power going to here and here. Do the same on this one and this one. Hop back up over here. Now it's actually going to make our ingots and produce everything we need for a copper sheeting. So yeah, that was why things weren't working over here. But now copper sheeting will get made. And of course, as you look here, everything is all load balanced. It's all going to get divided as intended because I believe each one of these takes, uh, what is it? It's 20 items per minute. So we've got 240 items per minute coming in here. It splits off 120 and then splits off to 60 in each direction. And then we are 20, 20, and 20 into each of the constructors. So that is now making our copper sheeting. So the only other thing left that we've got to do on our great doubling here of everything, uh, upgrading it to Mark II miners and Mark III conveyors is our steel production. So let's go check out the steel production after it's been upgraded. Okay, we're up here on our steel floor of our starter factory, and this has all been load balanced. Here is the thing with the steel production, because the foundries require 45 of each item, we are actually going to, what we did is I, the miner that's down there, that's the miner that we're getting for our iron ore from. I have overclocked that slightly to be able to get us our 270 items per minute coming up on that conveyor. And then uh, the copper, or sorry, the um, coal vein that we have over on that side over there, you can't really see it because of the, or maybe it's right there. But let me just see. Can we see it? I'm not sure. I don't think we can from here. I don't think I've got a good view on it. It's like right about there is where it's at. Um, but that one there I have overclocked as well too. So that we've got 270 items per minute coming in. It is getting load balanced here into a total of six, six foundries. These six foundries are making our steel ingots and then all of the steel ingots are getting combined up. And then they move into our 
splitter array here. So because steel pipe and steel beams require different amounts of ingots, um, I've got a little bit of a, 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 a split slash merge system here. So basically we're taking our 270 items per minute and I'm splitting it three ways right now. 90 items per minute are going over to there because it is 30, 30, and 30 to make the steel pipe. And then over on this side, I'm taking 90 and feeding it back into this merger and then another 90 into this merger that is then combined into 180 items per minute into here. And then the 180 items per minute are divided up equally into our constructors over here making our steel beams. If I can actually get up onto this so you can have a look. Uh, I'm a little curious as to why this is all backed up here, but I think it's our storage more than anything is what's got everything all backed up a little bit. But um, so yeah, this side here is making our steel beams. And then the steel beams all come out over on this side. We are feeding into storage, which is completely full now. And then we are making our industrial encased steel beam. So the only thing that's producing up here right now is the industrial case steel beams and then of course steel pipe. And that's because I'm kind of stocked up right now on steel beams, which we're using for our Mark III conveyor belts. And they also get used for like the double stacked storage containers. So, but things are cruising along. Everything now has been doubled up the next thing we need to work on is over for the items for our lock, unlocking the next phase of the space elevator. Let's go have a look at what we've got to make. All right, here we are at the space elevator and I'm just going to throw in the last little bit of smart plating that was required. The next thing we need to make is versatile framework and automated wiring is the next constructions that we have to do. And I believe those are both done by an assembler. So if we throw an assembler down here, and have a look at what's required. So first things first for versatile framework is we need modular frames and steel beams. Both of those are getting made, that's not an issue. The other thing that we need to make, let's look at the recipes here, is automated wiring. Automated wiring requires 2.5 stators per minute as well as a bunch of copper cabling. Well, we got more than enough copper cabling happening over at our copper plant over there. We are not making stators yet, so stators we're going to have to build. So if we look at the recipe for this, this is required, basically, what do we got here? 15 steel pipe per minute and 40 wire per minute. All of which is being made, that's not a worry there, but we don't have an assembler actually making the stators yet, and of course this makes 5 stators per minute, and we only need 2.5 to be able to um, get the automated wiring done so we'll have a little bit of an overflow for the staters so that's what we need to work on is we're going to get a stator manufacturing line done i'm going to build the versatile framework line and the automated wiring line start getting those stockpiling so that we can unlock this last or this uh, third phase of our space elevator and the whole reason for unlocking that is if we look at our hub here that will unlock tiers five and six for us. Because yeah, as you notice in the last episode, we did finish up tier four. So tier five, tier six, but we need phase two of the space elevator completed to be able to do that. Okay, so I've added an assembler over here and we're combining our pipe and copper wire, which I'm bringing all the way over from our copper plant. This is making our stators. And then from here, we have it split. Let's just climb up onto the top of this here. We have it split going into a storage container. And then we have some of the stators going over to that assembler over there. So then if we look at this assembler, we have our stators. And then of course I'm bringing copper cabling over from over at our copper plant. That's loading in here. This is making our automated wiring. It then goes into a splitter, uh, which we're not splitting off going anywhere with yet. Uh, if I could jump over top of this. And it's going into storage here. And then we added one more assembler here and we're combining our modular frames and our steel beams to be able to make our versatile framework here. So 
that is all being assembled. Now it's just a matter of us getting this stockpiled enough so that we can turn it in to unlock our space elevator. So while we're working on that, there is a tiny bit of research that we can do on our MAM research. All right, let's head over to the MAM research here. The first thing we're going to do, alien organisms. And if we look down here, expanded tool belt, we need five of the... I think they're the uh, data organic data capsules and 500 steel beams of which we have. Let's start that research. Three seconds, boom, that's done. Confirm. And then next uh, is gonna be crystal oh, oscillators and AIs. Like we got a little bit to, wake, uh, to work on there. This one here, I still need to find some nuts. I haven't found any nuts anywhere yet. So that's gonna take some time. Caterium. Is there anything in the Caterium tree that we can work on right now? I don't believe there is because I don't think I have enough Caterium ore. Let's just have a look here and see if I've got... I've only got 26 and I need 50. So Caterium is kind of out of the question at the moment. Nutrients. Oh, you know what? I do have some of the berries. Let's grab the berries here and we can research at least the berry end of things. So nutrients, we're going to click on that, start research. That's going to take care of that. Again, I haven't come across any of the nuts yet, so we're going to have to wait till we find some of those. And also the uh, bacon, <laughs> the bacon we haven't found yet either. So um, I've got to find some of that. But power slugs, I did find the yellow power slug. So we can research this now. And... Bam, that's now taken care of. Last is going to be researching the purple slug. So I got to find a purple slug so that we can get that taken care of. And then I believe power shards is going to be completely done. So yay for us on that one. Um, quartz. What else we got here on the quartz tree? Uh, I believe we can research. No, we can't afford that because I don't have... Where are we at with our quartz? Did I not grab it? I thought I grabbed it. Let's grab our quartz. There we go. We've got it. So we can do silica. We can get the silica taken care of. That is now researched, which, hey, look what that opens up. That open, opens up our Blade Runner. What do we need to do for our Blade Runner? Is we just need to make some silica, which we already have um, the modular frames for. So Blade Runners are going to be super efficient. That's going to be so nice to have. Um, and then once we get some quartz crystal done, we can do the crystal oscillator and also the shatter rebar. As well as with the silica, we get to inflate our pocket dimension, which I mean, I've been running out of inventory room uh, quite a bit. So uh, we still have not uh, unlocked some of these other things further down the tree, like the explorer or the explosive resonance application. So sulfur end of things um i don't believe i have enough sulfur yet i think we've only gathered up yeah 20 39 sulfur uh, i got a little ways to go yet before we can get that done but that's it for our ma'am research for this go around let us see how we're doing for gathering up our we need 500 versatile framework and 100 automated wiring so we should have enough of the items for our space elevator we're dealing with 500 of the versatile framework. Let's just click those all in on here. And that's finished. And then 100 of the automated wiring. Oh, we need 500 smart plating, not 150. I still got to go and grab another 350 smart plating, which I'm pretty sure I've got. I don't think that's going to be a problem. But I don't think it's on this level. Or is it? Let me just double check here. Nope, that's our modular frame. So I think it's one level above. I kind of moved things around a little bit when I did the, the big doubling here of everything. So I can't remember exactly what floor I'm making it on. Let's see what we've got down at this end. It's the smart plating that I'm looking for. Which should be right here okay perfect so i need what another 350 of this so 100 200 350 okay perfect we are geared up now 
to get this all turned in. So let's fly back over to our space elevator and turn this little bit in. And then we will have unlocked the next tiers. Everything is loaded and sealed. And send it. Off it goes in the space elevator. Launching. And that, of course, has unlocked tier 5 and 6 for us. So let's have a look here in our hub here display. So what do we get? We get oil processing, which gives us the refinery that we were looking for for our coal. We get industrial manufacturing, which gets us the manufacturer. We get alternate, uh, alternative fluid transport. So bottles and containers for different types of fuel and stuff. And we get gas masks, which will be good because there are some gas cloud areas around here. Tier six, we get expanded power infrastructure. So this is gonna get us the fuel generator. The Mark IV conveyor belt ends up uh, showing up in this one, as well as um, the scanner to, to be able to scan for Kateria more. We get jet packs in tier six, which is really cool. Actually, it's a hover pack is the one that I really like using. Monorail, so we can actually start looking at maybe using rails for transporting items around and of course we can also use the rail as a means to move electricity around as well too because it is conductive um, so we can use this rather than running power lines everywhere and then pipeline engineering gets us our mark II conveyor and our mark II or mark II um, water pipes and our mark II water pumps so that's what we get to look forward to but in this episode i think this is a great place to wrap it up here we have gone through the great doubling. Everything is now Mark II conveyors. Sorry, Mark II miners, Mark III conveyors. And we've expanded all of our production floors. So we've got our plate, our iron rods, our screw production, our steel production, the various assemblies that go along with that. Over on this far side over here, we have our copper production all expanded. We doubled our coal generator, so things are moving right along here. So in the next episode, we'll start chipping away at Tier 5 and Tier 6 and uh, see how far we can get. So with that said, reach down, hit that like button on the video, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and uh, if you could ring down and, and uh, click that notification bell so you can be notified when I've uploaded a new video. Uh, feel free to leave a comment as well. It is really great uh, feedback if you leave some comments in the comment, se comment section for this video. And then finally, you can follow me on social media at TerraceDWDC, and that's available on Instagram and on Twitter. With that all said, you guys have yourself a good one, and we will see you in the next episode.